Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Google Chrome error message, error HTTP2, protocol error, that you're experiencing on your Google Chrome web browser. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to right-click on the date and time settings down in your system tray. So right-click on that and select Adjust Date and Time. On the right side, make sure your date and time settings are correct. If they are not, you may want to consider toggling the set time automatically to the off position. And then scroll down and where it says set the date and time manually, go ahead and select Change. Select the correct date and time and then select the corresponding Change button. You might want to consider re-enabling the ability for Windows to set time automatically. Sometimes I notice you have to manually change it and then you can come back in here and turn it back on. And sometimes the sync now button doesn't work or cannot be synced for various reasons. You may also want to consider trying that as well. So a couple different things to take a look at in regards to that. If you want to open up Google Chrome now at this point, let's go ahead and actually open that up. And if you're still having a problem, you may want to consider checking and seeing different extensions you have on the browser. So if you go up to the three dotted icon up at the top right, open some menu icon, and then go down to more tools, and then select extensions. If you notice extensions in here that could be problematic, go ahead and just toggle them to the off position, just by toggling it to the left, and it'll become gray inside of it. So if it's blue, it means it's turned on. If it's gray, it means it's turned off. And then you would want to relaunch the web browser. You may want to go one extension at a time as well, and then just close out of the browser and relaunch it to see if that resolves the problem. And if you want to remove any extensions, it doesn't hurt to do that either. You just would select Remove. And then if you ever wanted to reinstall or re-download the extension, you could. It's just easier just to disable it, and then you can just easily re-enable it. It's just like a couple steps easier to do it that way. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.